In Yu-Gi-Oh, there are certain decks and archetypes that are just inexplicably popular. They hold no real uh, anime relevance, they hold no real meta relevance, but for some reason, people just can't get enough of them. One of those decks being Dark Lords. Now, I don't know if there are perhaps some other deciding factors that are playing into that that I'm not considering, but Dark Lords is very popular. None more so than with myself. I feel like Dark Lords is really, really cool. I played this deck once upon a time in Duel Links back when it was meta relevant, even though I didn't have the meta relevant version because I didn't control banishment, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Today, we're going to be playing Dark Lords mixed with Punk. Now, I know on this channel that we mix Punk with a lot, and I'm sure you're expecting me to apologize after saying that, but I'm not because these cards are great and I will continue to abuse them. Sue me. Uh, but no, the way that the the deck actually synergizes pretty damn well with this, because through your uh, your Chaos Ruler and your Zombie Vampire, what your objective is, you want to put as many of your Dark Lord spells and traps into the graveyard as possible, while also potentially summoning out a Dark Lord themselves to the field, either through your Zombie Vampire's effect or through Dark Lord Contact after milling a bunch of cards. So there's definitely a ton of synergy between the two. Punk is the... Punk is the thing that gives Dark Lords its gas in this version. The one thing that Dark Lord doesn't have at all in their entire deck is a good starter. They don't have any good starter cards. Even the ones that we're playing, like the Indulged Dark Lord, this card sucks, right? I'm taking this card out. This isn't the deck profile. This is just going to be, here's the deck. There's going to be some gameplay. You're going to get to see it in action. This is live on stream while we're playing in Duel Rooms. We are going to revisit this once I've had more time to refine the strategy because, like I said, there are certain cards that just aren't good right when it comes to dark lords and we were still trying to strike the balance of good versus not good um i feel like we're definitely going to need to do a little bit more work on it but here's some replays showing the progress we've made if you're interested in this style of content or if you want to see anything else that we do on the channel be it proper deck profiles be it streams be it whatever subscribe doesn't hurt doesn't cost you anything helps me out helps you out and like the video if you end up enjoying what you're watching let's get into it so this should hopefully at least be a little bit more interactive. If not, I doubt it'll be better, but it'll be more interactive. <laughs> Indeed you have. We have been very much the opposite. We have been getting cucked by the coin. Nice, sounds fun. Okay, pot of P, gonna banish, banish three? Yeah, banish three, check in the top three of the deck, we're gonna grab... Shifter, see that's not all that ways, because now pot of prosperity is in your graveyard, meaning you can't activate shifter. Summoning the lifeless leafish, unless you're gonna banish prosperity from the grave somehow. That would work. Lifeless Sleafish is going to mill out a, I'd imagine, a shift. If you're interested in learning how to play it, again, I don't want to gauge your plays, of course, but um, shift is usually one of your better options for this because you can use its own effect to banish itself from the graveyard. So it's one of the better ones to, to send off of this effect. Because then it comes back the turn after it's banished and allows you to single summon on your opponent's turn and, and do your whole combos. So this is typically how you will facilitate that. Alrighty. Chef comes back. Awesome. Chef, do be back. Okay, we're going to activate... Banishment of the Dark Lords. Got something you want to say to that? No? Nice. We're going to grab Ixgel then from our deck. Which is dope. Now we're going to activate the effect of Ixgel. We're going to discard herself as well as an additional Dark Lord card from our hand. To draw two. Little Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed. If you will. And we'll activate Dark Lord Contact. Dark Lord Contact revives the Dark Lord from the graveyard. We're going to bring back Superbia. 
Superbia, when revived, will allow us to revive an additional Dark Lord. There's the shift. Shift, do be shifting. Shift will allow you to quick play Synchro Summon uh, in the level 6 here. So either the Dolphin or the Serpent. There's the Serpent. Superbia will bring back our Ixgel. Serpent gonna activate Banishing a Fish from the deck. What are we going to banish? We can banish, usually here you want to banish something like Zep, uh, because Zep, when banished during the opponent's turn, will resummon itself and instantly synchro again. Um, or you can banish PSEs if you want some, well, PS, basically, for your next turn. Uh, but there are a few options in terms of what you can banish. Maybe even a Shade. Shade banishes the shift from the graveyard to add a sub back to your hand. There's a few really good banishes here. PSEs, okay. PSEs will come back during your next turn and grant you some additional gas. So there is that. Alright, we're going to activate our Assault Synchron. Assault Synchron can summon itself out to the field by paying 700 life points. Then we're going to use Assault Synchron and Superbia in a Synchro Summon for Baron de Fleur. Now we've got some plays. We're going to use Dark Lord Ixgel's effect. We're going to uh, activate the effect of Banishment from the Graveyard, shuffling it back into the deck to search our deck for any Dark Lord card. Yeah. Now we're going to activate Nastin. Nastin's going to drop a Rebellion and a Banishment to the Grave. Gonna summon itself out of the field. Now we're gonna normal summon a Zeomen. Zeomen activates, we're gonna search our deck for a punk monster. Gonna grab Foxy Toon. Alrighty. Now we'll use Nastin's effect. We're gonna pay a thousand. We're gonna grab Banishment from the graveyard. Going to apply its effect. Going to add from deck to hand. Let's add Sanctify Dark Lord. Now we're going to activate Foxy Tunes effect. We're going to drop the Sanctified Dark Lord to the graveyard to get summoning from the deck. So this is Dark Lords. This is where the Dark Lords come in and where they're at their prime because now the Dark Lords on the board can use the effects uh, of the spells and traps from the graveyard. Um, which makes them infinitely more powerful. Okay, so we're going to do this, and I think we can push for a game here. Uh, oh yeah, Baron can just get popping and swinging. Yeah, 100%. Well, I'm not going to waste anyone's time then. Uh, we're going to resolve this chain, and then we're just going to swing. Because uh, I think I've got lethal here. Unless you've got a way to stop me. In which case, by all means. I will grab Ixgel for next turn, just, well, I mean, in the battle phase, I forgot to pop, but it's fine, we should still have enough attack points on board. Plus, what's really cool about paying life points to activate the effects of all your Dark Lords is it means your Psychic Gen Punisher, if you do summon it, is going to be huge. So, Psychic Gen Punisher gets mahoosive in this deck. And there's loads of like sample deck lists and ideas and discussions and things around that deck in, in the Discord. So, it's worth a look. Alright. 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 This is a goddamn hand. 
Uh, we're going to open up our turn with Ixgel. We're going to discard herself and another Dark Lord card. We're going to draw two. Oh my god, we're the best at the video game. What do you mean? We're going to go tuning here. We're going to grab a Synchron from the deck. We're going to mill one. We're going to mill a tuning, I guess. Unfortunate mill, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to go for Ogre Dance. Um, that's fair, although to be honest, most of the time, like, a lot of the extra deck doesn't see a ton of play. Um, it's mainly just sort of what you have room for, right? It's not that big of a deal. We're gonna grab ourselves a little Ghost Ogre. Alright, now we'll activate Deer Notes effect. We're gonna discard a Ogre Dance. Gonna summon the Deer Note. Sixty card deck, interesting. Sixty cards. Okay, we got Chaos Ruler. Uh, Chaos Ruler is gonna mill five. Then we've got the Almond is going to reborn the Ogre Dance. Okay, Enchantment's a good one. Uh, it's a really solid hit off that. Okay. Gonna grab the Assault Synchron from that pad. Not a lot of useful cards, but decent Graveyard Filler. Now we're gonna use our two level 8s. We're going to Exceed Summon. Gonna go into the Zombie Vampire. The Stardust is really good, and my fun the latest thunder dragon deck that i've been playing has been using that stardust card quite a lot and it's been it's been great the special summon out the we can summon we can summon there's a couple of options here in terms of what we can summon uh let's go x gel let's start with an x gel we hit some really good mills there um so we have plenty of options in terms of what we can do So we're going to start by using Ixgel's effect, we're going to pay a thousand life points, we're going to copy the effect of Banishment of the Dark Lords, we're going to grab one of these cards and add it to our hand. Okay, which of you are actually useful? Uh, we're going to grab Amdusk. Uh, well, you'd be surprised because um, um, North America is the single largest population center for my channel. And it's not even close. Over 37% of my viewers and members are from America. So I'm the odd one out. <laughs> We're going to revive the Indulged Dark Lord. Indulged Dark Lord then will use its effect. We're going to grab... Well, we're going to special summon one of my Dark Lords to your field. So you can have you can have this guy. You can have Vuka back. And we're going to grab another one and add it to our hand. Which is going to be Superbia. Amdusk has the ability to discard that Superbia and itself to grab us back one of our Dark Lord cards. We are going to go for Banishment. It's like 10, yeah, it's 5 in the afternoon here. In fact, again, uh, I'm pretty used to the uh, American time zones and things like that. You're not uh, American, you're the other side. You're towards um, sort of Middle Eastern and Asia type territories with that time zone, I think. I'm not an expert, but, you know, I, I think. Let's see. Uh, I guess we could just go Dark Lord Rebellion. I would really like to have had another Dark Lord on board, but I think I messed up the sequencing for my plays. Uh, just a little bit. Wait, does the Indulge Dark Lord lock me into stuff? Oh, I can only summon fairies for the rest of the turn. Oh. Well, I messed up. I messed up big time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Nice.
Yeah, 12 p.m. Because that's uh, the East Coast. That's where my that's where my partner lives. So that's the time zone I'm most used to. Um, C C S T E S T no E S T. Saber Dark. Ooh. Okay. Saber Dark. Now that is a goddamn dick. Drop in the claw. Grabbing, what do we grab? Horizon. Okay. We're about to see some Saber Dark action. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, oh, nice. Well, it's nice to see that there's always people around. Um, we're gonna go for Ixgel's effect. We're gonna copy the effect of Dark Lord Contact. Uh, we're gonna revive Dark Lord and Dusk from the graveyard. Already grabbing Cannon to hand. Already. Hers is gonna activate, that's totally fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate my Dark Lord Rebellion. Um, what's the time where I'm at? Half five in the afternoon. Uh, BST is the time zone. British Standard Time. Or British Summer Time? British Summer Time. Uh, we pop the Realm. That just means that he cannot get the additional normal summon for his Cyberdark Chimera later in the turn. We should have popped it on activation to stop the search, right? Misplay from me, should have done that, but it's fine. And it also means now we can use our Andusk to copy the effect of the Rebellion in the graveyard to give us a, a quick play pop whenever we want it. Yeah, so if you're six hours behind, then you are in CST, Central Standard Time. But we've got that, we've got a quick play pop of our Andusk. We really screwed ourselves over by playing the Indulged Dark Lord. I didn't know that this locks me in the fairies. I didn't know that. That card sucks. <laughs> that card absolutely sucks. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure if you don't search Power Bond, then you don't have a play. So... Like, I'm pretty sure that I can just... Um... I'm a, I'm a yoink your chimera. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a yoink it. And then, uh... Hope for the best. <laughs> I don't think you can do anything with a power bond. There's the allure. Allure, draw two, banish one. Um, what happens if you click the sprite blue? A few things. So it does a handstand. That one's cool. And then it has this. Thumbs up. Lights up. And then it does that little stance there, like it's about to take off, like Sonic. He just has the raw power bond. There's no shot. There's no way. Hang on, wait. How much attack points is that? Oh, that's 3200. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, okay, I thought it was gonna be bigger. I thought it was gonna be bigger. Okay. Right. This is- this sucks. But, we're still in it. We do need a Red Eyes pet and Buster Blitter. Red Eyes, I think Red Eyes first though, as much as I love Buster Blitter. We have Dark Magician. We have Blue Eyes. What is this anti-Joey discrimination? First you're gonna make Red Eyes suck, and then you're not gonna give us a pet? Get the fuck out of here. Or mate, sorry, I should say. But like, come on. What is this anti-Wheeler discrimination? Okay, uh, Sanctified's a pretty decent draw. So we're not gonna make that mistake over the Indulged Dark Lord again. That card sucks. We're gonna take that out. That card is actually ass. <laughs> the card sucks so bad. Um, we're gonna go for Ixgel. Ixgel gonna grab us a little banishment, I think. Just a little banishment, just a little banishment. We can go Contact. Ah, we'll go Contact first. 
Uh, contact, get reviving. We're going to revive Amdusk. Going to bring out the Amdusk. Amdusk is going to pay a thousand life points. We're going to copy the banishment. Will our fake protagonist? <laughs> The Joey hate is so real. It is bamboozling how much they dislike Joey Wheeler as a character. I don't get it. He's such a cool character. Um, we're going to go the tune of Foxy. I'm going to have you listen to my Foxy little tune. We got the Ash. Okay. Ash is a problem. Ash do be like that sometimes. Okay, what's our extra deck looking like? What do we got? What have we got? We got Jack Diddley. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We've got nothing. Oh, we do, we do. We got Blaze. Okay, thank God. Um, we're gonna go for the Chaos Ruler. Gonna banish one, banish two. Get rid of them both. Bring back the Chaos Ruler. Set one. I mean, I don't know what this set one is. Like, this this shit is crazy. Like, this could be nothing. This could be Mirror Force. Could you imagine? What if it's limiter removal and I instantly... What if, if this card is limiter removal, then I instantly fold? That'd be funny as hell. I, I can't tolerate that possibility. I cannot allow that to exist. <laughs> um, Can I banish a card somehow for Ching Ying? No. Oh yes, I would have with the Chaos Ruler. It would have been banished. If that's li if that's limiter, he's not better. Unfortunately, I'm better. Um. Yeah, get popping. Gonna set one. Gonna activate Dark Lord Contact. Dark Lord Contact will revive our Superbia. Superbia, then we'll activate. We're going to grab ourselves a little Ugebek. Ugebek. Ugebek, get milling. We're gonna mill out a Dark Lord. We're gonna send. We'll send Tezcat Lapoka. Try saying that 10 times fast. Um, can I not synchro? I don't have any monster slots left for synchro summons. Go me, I'm so smart. Okay, then we will pick it back at Andusk in the Masquerade, Masquerina. Normal summon the Assault Synchron into Ching Ying. And ironically, I still don't know if this is lethal. I don't. Oh, it is. He's at 6,400 life. Yeah. Into the battle phase. Swing with the Ching Ying. Oh, he's got something. Oh no, that was its destruction effect. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Good games. 1,700 life points, that was close. Saber darks are pretty damn cool. Oh. Oh, it's not red eyes. Oh, is it Thanomorphia? Oh, I mean, well, I mean, based off the sleeves. It could just be a coloration match, I guess, but I mean, if I were a betting man. <laughs> That's the third. Okay. So is it actually blue eyes? I don't... Well, I mean, you know what? We'll see. We'll find out in a moment. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Leave it with me. I'm going to stop guessing. I'm going to just start playing my X-Gel. Dropping Superbia to the graveyard to get drawing. More cards. Ooh, what do we draw? We draw Tuning. Which is a little unfortunate, considering our hand, but, you know. Dropping Sanctify to the Grave, that's a nice-ass drop. Awesome. Gonna go Contact, Contact Reviving Superbia. Superbia then will revive the Ixgel. Awesome, awesome. Ixgel will activate. Ixgel, get searching. Gonna activate the banishment from the graveyard. 
Gonna grab a Dark Lord from our deck. What are we gonna grab? Based off our hand. Hmm, there's not a lot that's of any particular amount of use here. So I think we're gonna grab ourselves a little rebellion. We're gonna stage ourselves a rebellion. Now we're gonna activate the effect of Assault Synchron Special Summoning itself to the field in defense. Paying se 700 life points to do so using these two to go into Baron de Fleur. Okay, so what have we got in terms of field presence? Do, do, do. We got plays. We got some plays. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see. It's not Buster Blitter, is it? I'm curious. I just wanna just play your play your card and we'll find out. I hear if there's an open table, go for it. I'm in table three right now. Gold Star, is it Thunder Dragons? No shot, it's Thunder Dragons. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a damn second. Is it Arm Dragons? It's not, surely. Dragunity? Maybe Dragunity? It is Dragunity! Nice, okay. I got there eventually. It only took me like 42 guesses. Nice. Remus discarding itself, adding a ravine. Uh, that's fine. I can, I'll, 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 I'll allow it. Um, we could do that. Da, da, da. Trying to think what our options are. I, I can, ah, okay. Gonna go X-Gel. Gonna pay a thousand, we're gonna activate Dark Lord Contact from the graveyard. Okay. Special summon the Superbia. Ravine resolves. Then we're going to flip up our Dark Lord Rebellion. We're going to drop Superbia back to the graveyard. And we're going to pop that Ravine. Get popping. Okay. Still five cards in hand. At a level five or a higher Dragunity to your hand. Ooh, that could be an Armagram. That could be a... That could be that thing. Mistletoe. Whatever this name is. Mistillion. Um, there's another Remus. Remus then gets banished to summon the Mistillion, I would imagine. Yep. Or sent to the graveyard, not banished. Um, I won. It was a good game, though. Very good game. Can it equip onto itself from the graveyard the Remus, right? Equip that to this card. Remus, what do you do when you're equipped? You know what? You know what? I think I'll pass on that. I think I'm gonna pass on that little Mistillion uh, you've got going on there. Oh, you dirtbag. God damn it. <laughs> it's not Whisper Turn. No. Uh, <laughs> it's not Whisper Turn. Um, okay. Oh, the Royal Equip Spell. God damn. Nice. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, gonna equip on, I would imagine, either Flanix or the Kaus. Kaus would allow you to go into Ascalon, I suppose, but the it will also limit your follow-up. Phalanx may be a little bit better. Ph Phalanx? 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 Whatever his name is, he looks stupid. Look at this man. Skip like that. Uh, let's see here. Mm, 
Nice. Awesome. That is the boy. Let's see. Show me the boy. Show me the the boy. The Stardust Dragon, not that one. Don't show me that one. Keep that one to yourself. I don't want to. I don't want to know anything about that one. I thought you were gonna go into the in the Barcha. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we can talk about this. There's no need. Hang on. Let's slow this down. <laughs> we can talk about this. There's no need for this level of violence. <laughs> You have to go for it. If you don't go for it, you're going to lose. You have to commit. You have to you have to do it. Is this just uh Stardust into what, like Ascalon or something? Or is this into Satellite Warrior, Baron? <laughs> that's that's fair, yeah, you gotta you gotta pause. Too much information. Oh, I've never heard of this one. This is the one that I don't know anything about. This... Banish your Dragon Master Graveyard to get the activation to banish that card. That's not once... Wait. Each effect is once per turn. Alright. This card destroys opponent's opponent's battle. You can banish that opponent's monster. If the synchro summon monster in your... In your... Sonar's control is destroyed by opponent's card effect. Destroy all spells and traps. That's pretty damn good. So just... Uh, it's a, like a once per turn negate and banish. Nice. That's pretty solid. I like it. Remus gets another effect? Oh, it brings itself back? Huh. Oh, no, it, it's... Yeah, it does. It brings itself back. That's pretty dope. Banishing it for the Red Eyes Darkness... Am I about to get OTK'd? Is that what's happening? Am I getting OTK'd? I mean, I did limit my own life points quite a lot, but, like, come on. Man. Let's see. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, now that's a feckin' card. Bringing back the Stardust Dragon? No shot! Stardust is back! Okay, thank god. Right, okay. Okay. Start- I'm- but I'm- but my- I'm- but, but the booty. We got that 2900 defense. What do? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What is the play? What is the way? Let us see. I'm simply going to win. I, I will simply win. Uh, we'll activate Assault Synchron, first of all. Awesome. Gonna bring out this guy. Dope. Okay. Now we're gonna activate Banishment of the Dark Lords. Gonna search our deck for any Dark Lord card and add it straight to the hand. Alrighty. So I guess we want to grab. What do we want to grab? What do we what do we grab? There's not a lot of things we can grab here. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's not. Oh, we can grab Andusk, actually. Andusk only requires a single tribute for a regular tribute summon. Uh huh. Alright, so let's do that. I'm going to tribute the Assault Synchron for Andusk. Then I will activate Andusk's effect. We're gonna grab a. We're gonna activate re um, hmm. Gonna go for banishment. Gonna go for banishment. Gotta get searching. Oh, 
Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, get searching. Get, 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 get searching. All right. Mans is just letting this happen. Mans just does not care. Okay. What is the way? What is the play? What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab Dark Lord Enchantment. Shuffling that back into the deck. Now I'm gonna set Enchantment. I'm gonna end my turn. So we still have a chance here. We still have a chance. We still have the chance. Okay. Alrighty. Gonna try and revive another dragon. can do. I'm gonna activate Dark Lord Amdusk. We're gonna return Dark Lord Rebellion into the deck. Oh. Okay, um, right, well that works for me then, I guess. I'm gonna go Dark Lord Enchantment next. Um, we're gonna send the Andusk to the graveyard to use its effect. All right, Dark Lord Enchantment. We're gonna yoink that dragon of yours. Chain Link 2, we're gonna pop this dragon of yours. Chain Link 1, you get to revive something. Wait, can, you, wait, can this guy be revived? I know you were, that's why I chained the enchantment. God fucking damn it, it's just back. What do you mean? It's just back. I don't know what I can do about this. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> God damn. God damn. I forgot that he was chain link one reviving something. Why didn't I just do this on resolution of chain? Why did I chain? That was so stupid of me. Why did I chain? Oh my god. Out comes the derg. I simply lose. I simply lose. There's there's simply no no two ways about it. I just lose. Like there's nothing I can do about this. About any of this. <laughs> Wild. Nice, nice, nice. It's hard to argue against such a cool deck. I'll give you that much. It's cool as hell. It's very hard to argue against a deck this cool. I feel like the... Well, we're only gonna really have time for one more game here. Ah, uh, will we, will we be trying? Will we be trying to squeeze in two? We'll see. We're gonna go over time, but like, when do we ever finish on time? Let's be real. When do we ever finish on time? So we'll do Ayub and Vivian, and I think that'll wrap us up for the stream. This is, is this entire stream has just been me getting dunked on. This entire stream has just been me getting dunked on. And you know what? I'm here for it, because a lot of it's been really either cool or educational, so I'm here for it. But I am going to need to cry myself to sleep tonight. But other than that, we're all good.
Benz is just playing cards. Spiral Unity, no offense. I have 1,300 life points. Punch me in the face. <laughs> you can punch me in the face. You have exact lethal with your whatever the hell that says over Stardust. You have exact lethal. <laughs> it's all good, my friend. God damn. This deck is fire, though. I'm glad you made it work. I'm glad we made it work um, off the Discord chat. Absolutely. Nice to see it actually up and running. If there weren't so many goddamn URs in it, I'd play it too, but... That's a D4 strat. I feel like heroes have gone a little bit... I feel like because of recent influences, is, is the extent of what I'll say, it's gone a little bit gimmick. uh, gimmicky. Uh, I probably will try it, yes, once I'm done messing around with the new cards. Uh, I will at some point try it. It does, it's not particularly, like, tickling my fancy. It's like, it's not something I'm super interested in because it just seems like it's using a small hero package to work out a whole board of generic boss monsters. But it's like, if I wanted to do that, I would play Punk, right? <laughs> I I can see the hypocrisy. It's it's not lost upon me. I get it. Um, But I would just play that instead. It would just make more sense to me. Um, we're going to drop Foxy Toon. We're gonna get tuning. Dropping the Tez. Summoning out Deer Newt. Alrighty, let's go these two into the Chaos Ruler. I mean, Heroes is the single most supported archetype in existence. There is over 300 different hero cards. Over 300! I'm pretty sure second place doesn't even break 100. I'm pretty sure second place is like 80 something cards. But heroes have over 300 cards. Insane. Uh, what 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 do we what do we grab? Ogre dance, I guess. Probably won't agree on the ogre dance. Uh, well, you're probably you're gonna have a couple of cards more in your graveyard. Yeah, it's it's nutty. It's pretty nuts. I'm three busted. <laughs> the man's is triggered. <laughs> uh, we can go for Nastin here. Uh, good old nasty Nastin. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And we're going to use the two level eights. We're going to go into the zombie vampire. And this is the extent of what the punk engine does for this deck. Like, this is it. It does the Chaos Ruler into the Zombie Vampire. Now we've got a bunch of dark monsters in our hand in Graveyard, and we've got a bunch of things we can um, utilize, spells and traps, all that good stuff. Um, so, oh, you're playing Salomon Grits. Oh, well, I'm going to not take your Foxy, because I don't really need it. Yeah, it does. It does make the deck building a little bit boring, um, because you do have to account for it no matter what. Which is a little annoying, but you know, what are you gonna do? And do we have any banishment in grave? No, unfortunately not. I'm trying to think whether or not it's worth Nastin's effect. Yeah, no, it's not. We have to. We'll, I feel like. Uh, I feel like crying. <laughs> How much longer? This is the last game, my friend. Unfortunately, uh, we're already 20 minutes over when the stream was supposed to end. So, <laughs> we've already gone over by quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna bring out Nurgle. Yeah, unfortunate, but here again, you'll just have to catch us in the next one. We will be streaming again shortly anyway, so it's not that big a deal. You'll catch us. Let's go Salt Synchron and Superbia into Baron. Uh, what have we got in the graveyard? Oh, the Chaos Ruler. Okay, uh, we can go Nergal. Nergal Pepha is an activate to copy the contact. We're gonna summon... Superbia? We can, we can summon Superbia, but I don't know if that's worth it. Probably not, if I'm being honest. No, I mean Tez. I think Superbia is the better play. 
I think Superbia is the better play. Um, shuffle it back. That's fine. Because I should have... I should have a light in my grave, right? I don't have a light in my grave. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Shizer. That is fine. Okay, I guess we're just gonna pass. I messed that up, I'm not gonna lie. I really should have had a light in my grave uh, for me to go into Chaos Ruler and then I'm just gonna use Chaos Ruler and Superbia for, um, what's its face? Something else? Um, Harbinger, Jesus. Did I have a light in my grave? Surely I did, so I did have a light in my grave, I'm stupid. All right, okay, fair enough. Um, that's fair. I mean, that was a, that was a good ash. Um, circle, circle, circle. Okay, circle get circling. All right. We'll allow it. Gazelle. We messed that play up hard. We could have had some extra interruptions on our board here. We could have had one or two more interruptions. That's the big sad right there. Uh, we're going to go into our goal, first of all. Uh, and our goal, path bows, and we're going to copy the contact from the graveyard. Going to summon Tezcat Lapoka in defense. So Tez comes back. Tez is one of our big boy Time Lords. Uh, pulled what deck? D time. Oh, the Destiny Heroes? Yeah. <laughs> Destiny Hero support did not know what way it was going. Like, at all. It, it had no clue. It did not know what was going on. It didn't know what way it was up. Uh, it was wild. I don't really like the look of that gazelle. Um... Um, I'm good. I don't like the look of that gazelle. I think we're gonna get rid of it. So, negate and pop. Grabbing the field spell. Okay. Out comes the sanctuary. So we could still have plays here. I'm hoping the poppage of that gazelle would have slowed it down, but unfortunately, Will of the Salomon Grits is going to make great efforts to undo my progress. Beatrice, Chico to get deforced easily. That is fair. Yeah, Beatrice being able to send the trap card, I can't remember the name of it. Then the trap card banishes itself, grabs you D-Force. Gazelle, oh my god, what do we what do we use our need oh, God damn Break the destiny. That's the card. Break the destiny. I don't know what to use my freaking negates on. I've got spinny and grave now. So what is the uh, what is the objective here? Are we trying to go like access code OTK sort of shenanigans? I would imagine so, right? It's probably just like access code OTK. I've got a plan. I come Spinny. Spinny comes back yet again. 
So we got four on board, including a splash mage. Um, let me see. Okay, linking off into update jammer. There is the update jammer. Okay. So it is some form of access OTK, which makes total sense, right? Total sense. That is the wing con of the deck, but it is a rather fragile wing con. It can be interrupted. Okay, there is the transcode. Interesting placement. Zero Boros. Ooh, that'd be pretty biased. Zero Boros would be pretty fucking biased. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be pretty nuts. And there is access code. How do we beat access code? Toggle on. Targets transcode. You can't activate in response to access code talker's effects. Now, what I'll say, Vivian, is whenever you're summoning access code, you always want access code to be the last chain link because your opponent cannot activate cards in response to it. Um, but that's fine. Just a small point. So if I had something there, I would have been able to use it in chain to the update jammer. Now, upon resolution of the chain, we drop Superbia, and we negate. Yep, that's fine. Oh, Tez is only 2100 defense. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll use Taz's effect. We might as well. We'll yoink the Code Talker for a turn. And I believe uh, you did place Transcode wrong. Uh, you definitely did. But it's, it still would have been very hard to play through two negates, I think. I don't really think there was much of a way of that happening. Um, it happens, it happens. It happens to the best of us. It's a tough board. Tough thing to get rid of. I believe that should do us. Good stuff. Good games, my friend. Very well played. Uh, yeah, I just gotta have the maxi, I guess. Very well played. It really was a good game.